Hey y'all, this is Lisa. I'm um, Queen's Cousin Crafts. I wanted to come on quickly and just let you guys know that I appreciate the new subscribers that I have. I think I'm up to 91 now, which is awesome. I was hanging around around 85 or 88 for the longest time. And, you know, I know it helps if you put out videos, but... <clears throat> Things have been, you know, life has gotten in the way right recently. So, I just wanted to come on and, and say thanks to the new subscribers and to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on and, and hope that um, I can make um, videos on a regular basis after Christmas. Comes my little, my little dog. He's dipping through the house. Um, first of all, I wanted to say, um, <clears throat> Spock, go away. <coughs> Excuse me. First of all, I wanted to say that uh, I know I promised you guys um, a story behind the name of my channel. And it's, it's a very simple story. It's just that um, my maiden name is night k-n-i-g-h-t and at the last family get together it was several years ago now it was my aunt's 80th birthday so uh, a lot of people came that you know i hadn't seen them forever but one of those people was my cousin harvey now harvey um Actually, you know what? It's been a long time because um, Ancestry, the Ancestry um, website, I don't think was even up then. But anyway, long story short, Harvey did a um, <laughs> Harvey did a little uh, background on our, a lot of background actually on our. Um, family tree. He found out that 18 generations ago, I guess that's how you put it, we actually are descendants from, I forget the queen's name, Anyway, we share a 18th, that's the way he put it, 18th great-grandmother with Queen Elizabeth. I thought that was kind of cool. I always knew I was royalty, you know. <laughs> but, um, so I'm not really sure how that works, but... I, I always like to say that I have some royal blood. It might be just a drop or two, but I do have a little, according to what he dug up. And that's the reason that I changed my channel name from Diamond Painting Nurse to Queen's Cousin Craft. Crafts. Yeah, I hadn't said it in a while, so... <laughs> I just wanted you guys to know that I promised, you know, I, I remember that I promised you the story behind it, so I decided I'd go ahead and let you guys know what, what that was all about. Um, I've been doing a lot of Christmas crafting and um, finally got the house decorated. I think it was last weekend I finished. Yeah, you know, that absolutely overwhelmed me to no end. I worked for days and days through the night, did not go to bed, continued to finish my decorating until I finally got everything done that I'm going to do. I mean, you know, I don't know about y'all, but after a while, I'm done. I'm just done. And it looks nice. I like it. It might stay up until this time next year, but I like it. And... I'm going to leave it alone. But there are a lot of things that I made um, last year and this year that I wanted to put out. And then there was just so much stuff 
you just wouldn't believe. There were a couple of years that I didn't even decorate for Christmas. Nothing came down out of my attic. Not one thing. It was just absolutely too much at that time for me to do. So we didn't even put up a tree two years ago or I think the year before that. And it's not that we're Scrooges or anything, but we don't have any little ones or we didn't at the time. My grandson was 10 and, you know, it was just, he doesn't live here so there were no there are no little ones here it's just me and my husband and the dog but i felt like last year i needed to do something so i did put up a little um a little christmas tree and this year i did the bigger christmas tree now they're you know not the most beautiful trees in the world but you know, they have some ornaments on them that are sentimental, and that's, you know, family is what Christmas time is meant to celebrate, and of course, the birth of our Lord and Savior. So, you know, it's just been, it's been a, something that I've, I've just not been able to do very much lately. But this year I went all out. I actually got everything out of the attic that was um, Christmas related, went through it when I was decorating to, you know, this time, and I called my, my son and his wife over, and I said, well, I actually I text her and ask them, did they have any Christmas, de did they need any Christmas decorations? And she said they did, so I gave them everything that I wasn't had had not used in years, didn't think I'd use again, and I also gave them a big tree that we had up in the attic that we had not put up probably six or seven years. Anyway, I was thankful that they would take what I offered and they were happy to get it, and the grandchildren loved it. Um, she has two kids plus um, our grandbabies, so she's got three. Um, I, I do consider those two kids my grandchildren. We make no bones about them being someone else's child. They're always going to be my grandchildren as long as they're around, and I make no difference between them and my blood grandchildren so I was a stepchild since I was four years old my daddy never made any difference between me and my three sisters that came after me my grandmother his mother and sisters and brothers and any of them, none, none of them made me feel like I was not a part of that family. I was a part of that family from the time my mama and my stepfather got married. Daddy, daddy is daddy to me. Now he's he's gone now, but he was always my daddy. Make myself cry. Um. <clears throat> I decided that after I finished decorating that I was going to um, just do something completely different. I just needed a break from Christmas for a minute. So what you see me doing is um, diamond painting. I'm um, working on this beautiful large painting that I got um, recently. Not that I don't have others I could have been doing, but this one I wanted to I wanted to work on because I think it's so pretty. It's a long, very long. This is only only half of it, and it's birds. Um, I believe those are cherry blossoms, but they're so pretty. It's so pretty, and I don't know if you can tell how it sparkles or not, but it's it's very beautiful. When I finish it, I'll show it to you guys. But I've only been working on this for a few days, and I've gotten halfway done with it, so. 
I'm happy about that. Also, um, again, I wanted to say thanks to my new subscribers and um, I, I just need to get to 100 and I'll be happy. I'd like to do it before the end of the year, but I don't think I need but about 9 or 10 more subscribers. So if you guys want to, um, haven't subscribed, if you're watching, please do. I would love to have you as a subscriber and I promise you I will do the best I can to get videos up and hopefully the content of the videos will be great or not not great but you know the best I can do <laughs> um, I do want to show you guys uh, some of the things that I've made this year for Christmas but I'll leave that to another video but I just wanted to say thank you and I hope that everyone has a wonderful Christmas and an awesome new year um, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys before that but I just want to say hello and I haven't disappeared off the face of the earth I just haven't been able to make videos lately but I do plan on making more alright guys I'll talk to you later bye